All right, you guys, today is the last episode in the kitchen makeover series, and I'm sure some of you are just ready for me to get back to the DIY project, so we will get there next week, I promise. But this week, we're gonna be focusing on organizing, going through all of those things that I just don't use in my kitchen anymore. We've lived in this house for about two and a half years now, and there are plenty of items that I have never touched in the entire time we've lived here. So they gotta go. They can be donated to the Goodwill or somewhere for somebody else who could use them, can have them. And I'm gonna be sharing some organization items that I found on Amazon. We're gonna go thrifting for some home decor, hopefully find some home decor for the kitchen. I don't normally find really good things in my area at the thrift stores, but I'm still gonna take you guys along. We'll see if we can find anything. If not, we're gonna make a stop at Hobby Lobby, at um, Home Goods, at Big Lots, try and find some inexpensive decor that we can make this place look beautiful. As you can see, I have had zero organization in my kitchen previous to doing this makeover. Things are just thrown in everywhere, piled up sky high, and we need to fix that. First things first, I went through all of my drawers and pulled out all of the items that I've never used in the last two and a half years that we've lived here. I picked up several different organization items from Amazon to make my life easier. I never used to care if things were organized in my home before, but let me tell you, once I organized my entire craft room so that everything has a home, you are so much more likely to actually put things away instead of just tossing them about. So I took that same approach in my kitchen. Once the drawers were cleaned out, I replaced my old drawer liner with a new one. There was nothing wrong with the old one. It just had those mesh holes in it and I wanted a more solid one. Then I got these bamboo expandable dividers to help section off areas of the drawers. This will help ensure everything doesn't get all tossed together like it was previously. So I have a section for measuring, a section for peelers and openers, and then a section for more miscellaneous things. Next, I got a pan organizer, which is perfect for separating out your pans so they're not just stacked on top of each other. You can hold the lids in here as well, and this one is expandable as one long organizer, or you can use it as two separate sections, side by side. For one of my small drawers, I bought a knife organizer. This way all of my knives can be hidden and I can free up some counter space from the old knife block. You can fit six small knives, six larger knives, and a sharpener in here and I already love it. Next I moved up to my cabinets. This corner cabinet is filled with water bottles tons and tons of water bottles that nobody uses and a majority of them are my husband's. So I sent him a picture and told him it's time to purge and he narrowed it down to five. Then I was able to combine all of my drinking cups and water bottles into one cabinet. I wanna move all of my coffee mugs and accessories over to the corner cabinet because I put the Keurig over in the corner now and they were next to the sink before. I bought this like expandable shelf on Amazon for my coffee mug so it can go about that small or it can go pretty wide. And it's perfect in the cabinet I had over here with all of my coffee cups I had. It literally fit in there perfectly and I had two rows for all of our coffee cups. So. I still wanna use that same concept, moving them over to this corner. I'm just worried about like how deep the cabinet is being a corner cabinet. But I also know I can't reach back there. I'm so short, like even, this, even the first 
shelf. Like I can't even reach to the back of that. So I feel like I want to put like our Keurig cleaning supplies, those kind of things that I just don't need or use regularly until like every couple of months when I need to clean the machine. Um, so I don't know how this is going to work, but we're going to find out how it's gonna fit in there and see if we can do the same concept with all of the coffee cups. I have my husband right now going through all of his coffee cups as well, just like he did all of his water bottles so we can get rid of things that we just don't use or care to have. Well, it's too tall. I can move this up one. That was really difficult. <laughs> now I'm sweating. <laughs> Had to take off my sweatshirt, but I got it in. So now we have a little shelf here so that on the bottom section, I can put our coffee mugs. Maybe I'll put like our Keurig coffee cleaning stuff up here. I also have all of my teas that I want to keep in with the coffee mugs and over in this area. So. I gotta figure that out. Maybe I'll keep the cleaning stuff all the way up top since again, I don't reach for that stuff all of the time. And I already had all of my teas in these little Dollar Tree containers and then other coffees that we don't use all the time, but we have on hand. Coffee, these are not gonna fit. Okay, we don't use these very often. This is more for like when company comes over, which we really have, rarely have people coming over, so. We'll put those up on the top shelf. My tea over here. Another box of tea. This one to fit. So now the problem is I just feel like the back is completely wasted space because these are so deep. But if you guys have suggestions, like let me know in the comments, what do you do with your corner shelves? How do you organize them? I am so curious. I grabbed another bin for the cleaning stuff and I don't know which one to use because I like that this has the handle on it so that I can easily pull it out of the cabinet, but I hate that it's red. <laughs> so I can always pick up a different color at the Dollar Tree or I have this just like tan basic little one. I, I really wanna use this one. Let's see if everything fits. Yeah. Okay, so that's all of our cleaning stuff. And we can put it up there. We just need to switch this coffee over to the new container that we bought. I have a reusable, because I use loose coffee, we have these reusable K cups. So I don't know if I wanna keep those sitting out on the counter. I don't think that I do. I wanna figure out how to get them into these cabinets. We have plenty of space for that. And then my sugar, I have a new container for this as well. section to organize is under the sink. This was probably the worst section by far. I bought this two-tier slide-out organizer to house some of my most used cleaning supplies and sponges but I would not recommend this one. It was incredibly flimsy. The top rack kept falling right off. I checked the directions multiple times, which were pretty useless anyways, but I also played around trying different things to hold it in place and nothing worked. So I returned that one, and if the new one comes in in time for me, I will pop it up on the screen. These sponges are amazing. Not only are they neutral color instead of a bright blue or green and they go with all of your home decor, they are eco-friendly and they don't stink like traditional sponges do. I really love them.
I'm trying to free up as much usable counter space as I can, so I wanted to take the paper towels and put them somewhere else. I found this adhesive towel bar that you can put anywhere, and I'm putting it on the inside of my cleaning cabinet. It comes with screws as well for more security, but so far it's held up really well with just the adhesive. All right, let's switch gears and go find some decor. Let's head to the thrift store. This stool or plant stand was absolutely stunning. I'm kind of kicking myself for not getting it. I love that ornate detail. I was at the wrong place at the right time. Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes. We were conversing into the night sky. When you took my hands and let's leave now. I wanted to get some decorative salt and pepper grinders and I don't know why I didn't buy these ones. These candle holders were beautiful, but I didn't want to spend the $8 per piece. Next, I went to the Goodwill bins or Goodwill outlet. I usually have good luck here, if you've never been to the bins before, it is a very different experience. You have to sift through giant bins of merchandise with very random things mixed together. Mine are usually separated out with apparel, housewares, and then books, and then there's some furniture in the back. So that's how mine is anyways. But every hour on the hour, they bring out a new bin. I never usually stay around long enough to see them keep bringing new bins out, but there are people who will stay here all day to go through every last one. All right, you guys, we're at our next location. While I was at the Goodwill bins, I decided to just Google thrift stores near me because this isn't really in my area where I know what's around it. So I love to do that. I love to find new places. And I found this place called the Savvy Fox. Now, it is a consignment shop and type of like boutique. So they're definitely gonna have higher prices than your traditional thrift store. But I love to find new places and just see what's around, see what's out there so that we know like, is this a place we like? We wanna come back to it again in the future. So let's take a look and see what the Savvy Fox has. Right when I walked in, I could tell it was definitely a more curated and boutique type of store, but it was still fun to look around. I spotted these brass candle holders right away, and I am such a sucker for brass candle holders. They were the same price as the handmade ones we had found earlier, but brass is pretty hard for me to find lately, so I scooped up a few. Show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds. Cause without you by my side I would be stuck here on the ground 
You're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me I won't be stumbling in the dark Your eyes are shining like the stars this boat painting reminded me of one my parents had in my very first house growing up, and it is beautiful. Set me free. My eyes were closed. Now I see clear as day, and I just wanted to say that you can take me high. Last stop before we head home, this is my favorite place. It is also a consignment shop, but this place is like hunting for treasures. They have piles and piles of inventory everywhere you look. I could spend hours here, but since this was my last stop for today, I was pretty beat and didn't spend too much time looking around. Now I see clear as day, and I just wanted to say that you can take me high. I hope these adorable chubby little birds were priced as a set, but they were not, so I passed. I don't need anybody, I don't need anybody else. No one will ever take me, no one will ever take me away. I will hold on to you. I don't know what I'd do without you. Without you. I really love this amber bottle and the shape of the lid, but I couldn't picture what I would do with it. I'm really trying not to buy things unless I have a specific idea or place to put them. Can take me high. Feels like I can fly. You can take me high. We are back home from our little shopping trip and I didn't really find, as I expected, a whole lot from the thrift stores. Like my area just doesn't really have a lot of like unique pieces or things i don't i don't really know how to explain it it's just they're not very good <laughs> i just wanted to jump on and clarify really quickly the prices in my thrift stores have gone up significantly over the past few years and i can find similar items at hobby lobby or marshall's for the same prices so to me picking up these items at the thrift stores just really isn't worth it especially when i would likely need to upcycle them as well <laughs> they're not very good thrift stores in terms of like finding everyday home decor so, but I will show you what all I got. I did supplement with some things from Hobby Lobby. I went to Marshall's. I got a couple of things. Well, I think I got one thing from Lowe's. Um, so let's get into the haul while Sarge keeps walking around behind me because that's what he's gonna do. Let's start with the actual thrifted things first. This is probably my favorite item that I found. And it was the first thing that I found. So it's this really, beautiful i think it's probably like a spaghetti jar or something like that it's um, nice handmade pottery i don't know what this symbol is supposed to be if that's just like somebody's little handmade thing under there i don't know but it has a nice little cork lid so we'll put this somewhere in the kitchen and then most of what i found was at the goodwill bins not really surprised by that i always like panic when i'm there and i'm like oh my god somebody else is gonna take it i need to grab it so um but i did find two little drawer organizers i found a clear one i had been looking for ones like this but i didn't really want to spend like the ten dollars on them or whatever they are which isn't that expensive but i probably paid 25 cents for these and then i also found a little bamboo one so we'll need to clean these out really well before we use them. And then I found this really cute little patina metal tray. And I just thought it would be really cute in the kitchen or even like maybe on my bookshelves over here, somewhere as just like a little catch all for things. And then I found this Pennsylvania book and I live in Pennsylvania, I live in Pittsburgh. Well, I live south of Pittsburgh, um, but that's the major city that people know. And I liked, I don't love that it's gray because gray doesn't really fit 
my home decor, but I liked the black with the gold lettering on it. And I know that sun glare is awful behind me, but we can use that for staging. Then I found, I, these florals are terrible. They'll be, they'll be going. But I liked the shape of this little pot and I love the little leaf filigree detail down here at the bottom. So I know that I can upcycle this, make this into something really cute. I don't know that it's gonna go in my kitchen, but I really liked it. And then last from the thrifting, I think this is all, oh no. But last from the Goodwill bins, I got this blanket that is just totally fuzzy, textured. And I thought like I can make pillows with this. I can, you know, do some different fun projects with it. So pick that up. Okay, and then lastly for thrifting, at that Savvy Fox consignment shop, I got these little brass candle holders, taper candle holders. I, I love brass candle holders. I have so many around my house, I collect them in all different sizes, shapes, heights, everything. I just, I love brass candle holders. So these were $8.99 a piece, which might be a little more expensive, but I think brass candle holders are worth it. I don't think I've really found any in my area for like under $5 a piece. I don't even think that I've found ones that are $5 a piece because they're trendy. Oh, and then also at this Savvy Fox place, I found, I don't know if any of you have ever heard of this, it's called Evelyn's Elegant Edibles, and it is this like soup mix in a, I wouldn't say in a can, but like <laughs> in a little container, everything you need to make these soups. I got the stuffed pepper one. My, one of my coworkers had actually told me about this months and months ago, and I had been wanting to try it, but never found it in my area. And as I was checking out with these candle holders, it was sitting right there at the register. So I was like, I have to try it. Okay, so for, that was it for like the thrifting stuff. So now for what I got from Hobby Lobby, I really wanted to get some type of like artwork for the kitchen. So I found this really pretty like landscape abstract type of artwork and it has a nice dark frame. So I thought it would tie in really nicely. The colors are perfect. Um, so this is just gonna like go on the counter or on the breakfast bar. I haven't really decided. I wanna do something with the wall in the breakfast bar uh, or above the breakfast bar on that lime wash wall. I just, I don't know what to do. My original plan for the kitchen was to put a basket wall there and I have collected all of the baskets to do that. So I might, I might see how it ends up looking if it'll work out to do that. But I just, I don't know if like, I really wanna do that still, so we'll see. Oh, but then look at like how nicely these two go together. Like those colors are just stunning. And then from Hobby Lobby, I also got, I love the trend of people putting small little lamps on their kitchen counters. So I found this really great lamp. It's like a clear beige kind of, it's like, I think it could lean either tan or gray. It has like a little brass topper. So I think it leans a little bit more tan. So it'll go perfectly with my kitchen. And then last at Hobby Lobby, I just got this glass bottle to put my oil in because it's always sitting out on my counter. It's in that like ugly, you know, what comes from the grocery store, the green plastic bottle. So I wanted to get something a little bit more decorative. I, I thought I wanted one that had the little spout on it to pour, but I was like, no, because right now, like I take the lid off every time I use my, my oil when I'm cooking. So like, I'm okay with like having a lid and unscrewing it. So anyways, that's what I got. And then at Lowe's, this one I didn't film. I don't think I filmed Hobby Lobby or Lowe's, but I got this jar for my coffee because again, it's just sitting out on my counter. It's something that I use every single day and it's just sitting there in the red container that it comes in. So I wanted something a little bit more decorative, but I wanted to make sure it was a sealed jar. So this does have the little like plastic seal on it so that it's nice and airtight because I had one before that I'd put my coffee in that wasn't airtight and the coffee just goes stale. So this is perfect. And lastly, I went to Marshall's. Now, I don't think anything I got from Marshall's is actually going to be used in my kitchen, 
but a couple of things that I just needed. So first up, I got these Ugg bath towels. I love Ugg bath towels. When I redid my bathroom, we got all new towels and they were Ugg. Somehow I only have one towel left from when we redid that makeover. I bought four brand new ones. And I know my husband had used one accidentally as a garage towel and I was gonna kill him, but um, that's where one of them went. I don't know what happened to the other two. They've just somehow disappeared. So I needed, I needed some new bath towels. These were $12. I didn't even know that Marshalls carried Ugg towels, but they're really nice. So two of those. Then because as you can see, I love my plants lately. I found this beautiful planter. and it is like gold bronze on the inside. This will go perfectly anywhere in my home. And then last, I just got this big basket because Sarge's toy box is overflowing and I just don't like the look of it anymore. So <laughs> I bought a basket so that it can hide his toys, conceal his toys, but he can still get them out when he wants to play with them. And that's it for the haul, you guys. So. Now we need to finish organizing and getting everything decorated, but what all did I actually buy for the kitchen? <laughs> Not much. All right, I've gone through my old utensil container that sat out on my kitchen counters. I don't use 90% of these. Everything that's left in here, I don't use any of this ever. So I'm not gonna keep it. I especially don't want it sitting out because it just like doesn't really go. I mean, orange, green, blue. Doesn't really match, right? So I do, however, want to keep out my wooden utensils. And I these are the ones that I use. These are the ones that I use regularly. I really like using wooden utensils. I don't know how many people still use wooden utensils, but I do. So those are the ones I want to keep out and because I use them all the time and then I have everything else organized. But for our utensil container, I really wanted like an amber glass or something. And I found this at Lowe's. And it's just like a fake plant pot, but I figured I can take the fake plants out, wash it out, and we can use this as a utensil holder. So we'll see how it goes because they are glued in on the bottom. So I'm gonna cut these off in here. The last decor slash organization item I got was these amber glass bottles from Amazon. I'm sure you've seen them. So many content creators use these and for good reason. I also got this water absorbent riser, which I love, but I'm not sure what these few little spots are on the top that won't go away. I think it might be little bits of soap residue. Oh. And then I just wanted to show you that I had gotten some epoxy on my sink. I do want to get a new one at some point since I kind of beat this one up during the makeover. Well, that's it, you guys. This kitchen is still not 100% complete, but the series has come to an end, at least until I redo the counters in a few months. But for more organization ideas right now, check out my craft room tour, and I'll see you next week. Dynamite,